Should you spend more money to get RTX 5060 laptop or you can save some money to get the more budget friendly one RTX 5050? Let's compare. Hey everyone and welcome back to Binosha Tech channel. I'm Amin Khaliqi and today I'm gonna reviewing Asus TUF F16 with RTX 5060 against Asus Stuff F16 with RTX 5050. I mean, these two laptops are the same. They are like two apples cut in half, but with some differences, which is the only difference. RTX 5060 on this model, which they call Asus Stuff F16 FX608JMR, which means Asus Stuff with RTX 5060, against Asus Stuff F16 FX608JHR. The H means 5050, the M means 5060. We're gonna compare these two laptops to see which GPU you should get. Now, before we dive into the benchmarks and numbers, I want to be clear that we are doing a true apples to apple comparison. These machines are identical with Intel Core i7 14650HX CPU and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So we can really isolate the performance difference and see what you are getting for your money. Let's get into it. But before starting the video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you won't miss our next videos and it's a free support for our channel. We will be pleased and we will thank you if you are hitting that subscribe button to see our next videos. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about specs on paper. Looking at the core numbers, the RTX 5060 comes with over 30% more CUDA and Tensor cores than RTX 5050. Both have the same 8 GB of GDDR7 memory on a 128-bit bus, which is great to see for an entry-level card. However, based purely on the core counts and architecture, we can say the RTX 5050 is favorable 30 to 40 percent weaker compared to the RTX 5060 on paper. That's a significant gap, but specs don't always tell the whole story. And I should also mention that these specs are for the RTX 5050 on laptop. The RTX 5050 on the desktop is a bit weaker because they are using GDDR6 memories on that card and because of that you can't reference this video if you want to buy desktop cards i mean 5050 on desktop is a lot weaker than 5060 and i don't think you have to get that card now let's talk about price because this is where things gets a bit interesting you'd expect a significant price drop for a 30 percent weaker gpu right well not exactly laptops with rtx 5050 are not that much cheaper than their 5060 counterparts we are seeing a price difference of only about 100 to 200 dollars at most which is about 10 percent to at max 15% which is not ideal and if you want to see the updated price for these laptops you can check our Amazon affiliate links in the description below and also you can buy these laptops through our Amazon affiliate link frankly that's a bit odd I really expect these 50-50 laptops to be priced about 15 to 20% lower to create a much clearer value tier but this is Nvidia and sometimes their pricing strategies can be a little puzzling however don't write off the 50 50 just yet as you're about to see the value proposition isn't as clear cut as price tag suggests and that brings us to the next section performance and benchmarks this is what you've all been waiting for we put these two asus of f16 laptops through their paces in the range of games and synthetic benchmarks as i said on paper the 50 50 looks to be about almost 30% weaker than the 5060 on some scenarios. But in our real world testing, that gap narrowed considerably. Let's start with the time spy. We tested time spy on 5060 laptop and we got more than 12,700 score, which is a good score for this 5060 laptop. But on the 5050 model, we got 10,200 score. I mean, the gap is almost 20% and the price difference is only a hundred dollars the 5050 laptop is around 1100 to 1200 dollars and the 5060 model is around 1300 dollars it is 
not that great for the 50-50. We also tested Steel Nomad and as you can see on the screen, the performance on Steel Nomad is almost 30% better on 50-60, which is odd. We also tested Blender to see how well it can perform. And in 50-60, we got almost 3600 score, which is okay and good. And in 50-50, we got almost 3000 scores. It is again 20% less a score for the 50-50. As for Adobe applications, we got 3 minutes and 39 seconds in Adobe Premiere in 50-60 and in 50-50 we got 3 minutes and 56 seconds. As for Adobe After Effects, we got 4 minutes and 17 seconds of render time. In 50-50 we got 4 minutes and 12 seconds. The performance difference in Adobe After Effects isn't that much because Adobe After Effects is usually using VRAM over anything else and it can't utilize all the cores and all the specs of the graphics card but in the premiere the performance difference was a bit more as for the games we tested cyberpunk 2077 in both laptops and as you can see on the screen the performance difference between these two laptops was about 20 percent in all different scenarios expect the only scenario that we are testing in the raw performance i mean if you are disabling fsr dlss or all that kind of ai or fake frames you can see that the average fps in both laptops are almost the same but because we have 30 percent more cuda and tensor cores we can get almost 15 to 20 percent better results on the 5060 because with more cuda cores and tensor cores i think you can get more fake frames as for the rainbow six siege x it's the same story we can get 10 to 15 percent better results in 5060 because rainbow six siege is not a gpu demanding title it's basically a cpu gpu and ram I'm demanding i mean it utilizes all the resources on the laptop and it is not that gpu demanding like cyberpunk but here are the results we also tested fragpunk which is a cpu demanding title it's uh, not that demanding but the frames you are getting on this game is dependent on the cpu and as we expected the performance difference between these two laptops in average wasn't that high because they have the same CPU. As for Red Dead 2, uh, I can say the performance difference was about 10 to 15 percent in two different scenarios, Ultra and Ultra plus DLSS. As you can see on the screen, the average FPS on the 5060 was better. It's the same story for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We got 143 FPS in average in Shadow of the Tomb Raider with 5060 and with 5050. We got 128 frames as for marvel rivals we tested this game in both laptops and the numbers are a bit odd but i should note that the maximum frame rates are almost 15 percent different from each other and as for call of duty warzone i hate this game because it is not optimized and please activision fix the damn game we got 129 fps in average in 5060 and in 5050 we got 114 fps which is almost what we expected it is almost 10% between 5060 and 5050. So I have to say, the RTX 5050 is not that bad at all. It holds its own surprisingly well. So in conclusion, what's the final verdict? The RTX 5050 is a good GPU. It's not a great GPU, but perfectly capable and delivers solid 1080p gaming performance. If you are on a tight budget, I can honestly say that buying an RTX 5050 equipped laptop is a smart choice you are getting a next gen card with support for all the latest features like a dlss4 and you are saving a bit of cash however if you have the flexibility to spend that extra 100 or 200 dollar to get rt 5060 i think that's a smarter move that extra 15 percent performance boost will give you more headroom for future titles and allow you to push setting higher for a more premium experience. Ultimately, it comes down to your budget. The 5050 is a good entry point, but the 5060 offers a better performance per dollar ratio, if you can stretch for it. So what do you think? Which one do you pick? The RTX 5050 with 10% lower price or 5060 with 15% more performance? I think i would go with 5060 but tell me your opinion in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe bye